Hello, it's Just Party, and today I bring you another budget dual avatar versus, and this time it's versus Medulce. Sadly, I don't really remember what this deck does. But we're going to go first, going off Perfect Sync to Yu, getting a Yuhi on the field. Yuhi pops the token, searching up the invitation, pitching a card, then setting. or selecting the wrong card to summon, and then setting to and passing. I think it would have been a much better pick to go with a copy of the uh, Night Kongyul instead of making two of the attack or the one that was attack only. Because this is the game, I actually realized that uh, they they can activate their effects as long as you have any monster summoned with an effect monster. This is where I negate the the rank five, but then they're still able to extend and go into a rank four after they're getting some of. The, well, actually, I don't go to rank four here. They just started attacking into my field. If I had Kongyo, this wouldn't have been a problem as long as I had the uh, other one as my other form of disruption, because having these as the disruption is completely useless. At this point, they're just going to start getting a bunch of extra material. Able to attack over one, attack over the other one, set one. And draw a Cosmic Cyclones, which I'm going to respond by activating it to pop two cards on the field, and they're going to respond to negate my thing. <coughs> they're going to then get off another search. And at this point, all they have to do is make a Tiramisu and then wipe my field, and yeah, that's pretty much game from here. All they have to do at this point is just get enough attack points. Yeah, that'll. I think that'll do it. And they're just, at this point, it feels like they're just flexing. They're most definitely flexing at this point. I don't even know what's going on anymore. And that's game one. Back with game two and I have a pretty decent hand going into this. It's not really any better than the last one, but at least I have a slightly better knowledge of how stuff works. Oh, so I'm just going to get impermanence, but uh, yeah. Opponent's going to start with putting Cessor, which I'm pretty sure that's the thing you ash. I'm going to then pop all their back row, and they're left with nothing on field, and they scoop it up. Sad part was, my opponent had just left the match room after this game. So, I'm not sure how game 3 would have played out, because... Oh. Depending on how we opened up, if we were able to open up our third hand, we could have had either a really good game or a really bad game. Depending on, well, a, our opponent's hand as well, but I feel as though if we hit it, any of our floodgates or uh, enough of our hand traps, then we could have taken it. But we'll never know. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a great day.